So this time the question comes from Joseph, and Joseph asks, why do I root for the bad guy? I adore this question. I mean, I talk all the time about how our essential nature is good, that we're basically good through and through, and if you leave somebody alone to their own devices, they'll do the right thing because people are basically kind and basically loving and, and all of that. And if that's true, you got to wonder, how come we root for the bad guy so often? Why is Darth Vader the most interesting character in the Star Wars universe? Why do people clap for Hannibal Lecter? Why is Al Swearingen the, the real interesting character in the Deadwood series? Why do we root for the Joker instead of Batman? And on and on and on and on. So many times the most captivating character, the one that we want to see back on the screen, is the villain. Why is that? And what does it say about us as individuals being that we're essentially good and all that good stuff? I'll tell you what it says. It says that we're growing up. Because the thing is, for a lot of people, Doing the quote-unquote right thing has almost nothing to do with what their heart says. But instead, doing the right thing has to do with fulfilling some kind of external obligation. Whether there's some big authority in the sky who you don't know very well, and boy, you better get the rules right even though you don't have a clear beat on what is right, or you're going to be in trouble. Or whether it's doing what your parents say you ought to do, or what society says is acceptable even though that changes all the time. For so many people, doing what's right, being the good guy in their story, has to do with making somebody else happy, uh, succumbing to some external authority. And that feels very artificial. It doesn't feel very authentic. When your good and your truth and your love and your beauty and all of the wonderful things about you are nowhere out there, but are instead inside of you. So shutting that off and instead giving all of your power away to some kind of external authority feels inauthentic, like I said. And look, say what you want about Darth Vader, but Darth Vader is authentic. That's what we root for. I mean, after all, we don't root for the bad guys because of the mean things or the selfish things or egotistical, manipulative, whatever, because of those things that they do. Otherwise, you wouldn't applaud when the good guy wins in the end. Sorry about the spoilers. We're not rooting for the negative actions. We're rooting for the fact that the bad guy is someone who listens to themselves. They don't care what other people think. And that speaks to something in us. You and I both know, deep in our hearts, that deep in our hearts is where we're supposed to listen. So I'm not saying invest in black leather and a lightsaber. I'm saying learn how to listen. Learn how to get quiet enough to the point where you can hear what your heart has to say. Learn how to listen to your heart. Learn how to get your ego out of the way. Learn how to live from that place. Because after all, if you're doing what you think is right, not because it's something in here, but because you're trying to get somebody off of your back or trying to make somebody happy or trying to work the system, that's not really very ethical, is it? Let's get to the point where we do good because we're good. Where we live in love because there's love inside of us where we speak truth and beauty because we're showing something that's inside of us and letting it out to the degree that we realize that we have something in common with real beauty. Life gets better. No more external authorities. You're the hero of your story when you do what's right because you're right. Thanks for that amazing question. Thank you for subscribing to these videos. Thank you for going to facebook.com slash Randolph and clicking on that like button. Take care of yourself.